So here is my pork leg, pork knuckle, and let's give it some thickened sauce. Oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make Heng Cai Jiu Shou, which is a very popular Chinese dish. Um, it's also called Yin Tai, yeah, Hong Xiu Yin Tai in Cantonese, braised pork knuckle. Now, the, the probably only challenge in this particular dish is how you can make the whole pork knuckle here to be super soft and tender and melt in your mouth, especially the beautiful collagen uh, skin all right so what you do here when you buy uh, i'm actually using a pork front leg which is somewhere um somewhere around one kg i ask uh, why i choose front leg is because front leg is actually uh, smaller uh, so this is easier for me to cook and and control and manage uh, inside my kitchen um I actually gotten the butcher. I told them that I'm, I told the butcher that I'm going to make a braised pork knuckle. Therefore, he somehow trimmed the knuckle for me also. See? Nicely trimmed. And he, what he did was, he also removed part of the center bone inside uh, for me. <laughs> which is very good. Which will come very helpful later when we eat. Yeah. So, and the most important part here is actually for you to blanch. You need to blanch. I'll show you how to blanch it shortly, but you need to blanch. You cannot skip the blanching process because if you don't blanch your meat, it's going to be extremely gamey. Yeah? What you do is prepare a pot of cold water, put in the pork leg and also put in some ginger and uh, also uh, rice wine. Then uh, boil everything up. Uh, once it is boiling, allow it to boil for a couple of, maybe about three to two, three minutes. Then you're going to see all these scums coming up. Ah, these are the source of gaminess of your pork. So what you do next is very simple. Take this out and also uh, rinse it thoroughly. Then the blanching process is done. So uh, then what, how do we make the braised broth? It's not too difficult. Uh, you will, these are the simple ingredients that you need. Here, I have some... Um, few slices of ginger, few slices of galangal, uh, two pieces of uh, shallot slice, two cloves of garlic mince, and also some um, coriander roots. Now, coriander roots here is going to help to further remove any gaminess of your meat or whatever. And then we also have some cinnamon stick, two star anise, and also one bay leaf, and my favorite uh, 13 spice powder. If you can find 30 spice powder, use it because it actually tastes a lot more. It gives it more full body compared to the 5 spice powder. I'll be probably adding in some uh, hard boiled egg if I can later, depending on the capacity of my pressure cooker. You can also use koi egg, yeah? And or you can add in tofu as well, up to you. So I'm going to first show you how to make the braised broth. It's very, very simple. Give it a bit of oil. You can use any vegetable oil that you have. I'm actually putting in garlic oil, which will further enhance the flavor. If you don't have garlic oil at home, I always wish I always make at home. Uh, if you don't have that, then you just use uh, normal vegetable oil. And you want to saute or your ginger, garlic, galangal and your shallot together with the gin, uh, coriander roots. Let's brown it a little bit before we continue. We come back shortly. Alright, it has started to get brownish a bit here. You don't need to be golden brown, everything, no need. It is already super fragrant. What we do next is to, you want to add in some chicken stock. Now, I am going to create chicken stock within two seconds by adding two items. Number one, this is hot water. Yeah, one big bowl of hot water here. How do I make it become chicken stock? I have Cooking up our chicken stock powder, 100% natural, yeah? The, what we do here is, I'm going to add in approximately one teaspoon, and voila, it becomes chicken stock. That's how simple it is. And it is, for those who are interested, you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Shopee Singapore. I'll put the link inside the video description, yeah? See, immediately it, it becomes a chicken stock. 
Next thing, you want to add in some Shaoxing wine. Oop, this bottle has finished. Let me open out another bottle. Okay, small, bo small bowl of Shaoxing wine. Few rounds of light soya sauce. Few dashes of uh, Vietnamese fish sauce. Two to three tablespoons of dark soya sauce for the color. Not too much. If it's too much, your whole uh, dish will be spoiled. It will become bitter, yeah? So you cannot, you can't put too much of your dark soya sauce. Oh, look at this. Immediately, our broth is beautiful. But you also want to give it some sweetness. I am going to use palm sugar, coconut palm sugar today, about two tablespoons. You can use white sugar or brown sugar as well. Of course, the coconut palm sugar will actually give you extra flavor. Next thing, you give it some salt. And our star anise, bay leaf and also cinnamon stick. Not forgetting my toting spice powder. Give it about one to two teaspoons. Few dashes of white pepper. This is Sarawak white pepper. And our breast broth is ready. So what we do next is to combine the bra this braised broth with the pork leg inside our pressure cooker. All right, I have put the e uh, eggs and also the pork leg into the pressure cooker. And now we are going to pour in the broth. Wow, you want you want to try to allow your um, uh, pork trot, pork knuckles to be fully submerged under the broth. All right, I have actually added a little bit more hot water and also uh, Shaoxing wine to make try to make most of the pork leg is fully submerged, right? Something like this. At least I want to make sure the skin is submerged because the skin it is something that I really want to make it melting in my mouth later. So now we can actually close the lid. So I'm going to use a tendon function and time minimum one hour pressure cook. If you, are, if you have chopped your pork leg into smaller pieces, then 30 minutes is good enough using high pressure. Uh, but when you're cooking the whole piece of the knuckle, then you need minimum one hour. So this is when you are cooking using a pressure cooker. If you are not using pressure cooker and using the normal pot then what you probably need to cook up to two minimum two and a half to three hours before you can make it really really tender this is why appa always like to use pressure cooker it saves a lot of time now we all we need is just to sit back and wait for it to be done all right this is after one hour plus not sure you can hear it's raining like cats and dog outside um the pressure has been released uh, usually when you are using a pressure cooker, there are actually three steps. The first step is for the pressure cooker to build up the pressure. Second step is to cook, uh, pressure cook the, the food. Third step is for the pressure cooker to release the pressure. So if you pressure cook for one hour, you, need, you do need one hour plus for the whole process to be completed. Still, it, is, it, is, uh, it will cut your normal cooking time by at least half. Uh, if I don't use pressure cooker today, my cooking time will be three hours, easily. Okay. I'm not sure you can see this clearly. Let me take it off for you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, look at this. Oh. So I've taken out the pork knuckle, put it onto a serving plate, uh, while I'm going to do another two more things to wrap it up. So on one side, I have taken out some of the uh, braised broth and I'm going to uh, cook it for probably about 10-15 minutes to let it reduce and thicken up. On the other hand, I'm going to boil some water here. I put in a bit of oil and also salt where I'm going to blanch some veggie. So we can uh, adjust to taste using uh, salt and also sugar. Yeah. By the way, when you take out the broth, uh, do use a sieve here to sieve out the residues here so that your broth will be very smooth. Try the side, it is boiling right now. I'm going to put in some bak choy. Little bak choy. 
Why you want to put in some oil and also salt into the blanching water so that the liquid, your, your veggie can keep the greenness, yeah? It will look really greenish later. We won't take a long time to cook this very fast. All right, this is approximately two, three minutes. You can see the veggie is cooked, but it still remains greenish color. Then you can actually take it out. We shall garnish it with the veggie here. Go one round. Uh, you, as you can see, my uh, braised broth here has basically has already reduced by about 70%. I think this is good enough. If you really like it to be a lot more thicker, you can add some uh, cornstarch starch solution. Yeah? So here is my pork leg, pork knuckle. And let's give it some thickened sauce. Oh, <laughs> Oh, with this beautiful dish, you know this is going to be a beautiful 2023 ahead for all of your family members. I hope you like my very simple video today, CNY reunion uh, dish. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Now some people ask me what happened. What are they going to do with the extra broth here? Well, what you can do here is you can sieve, yeah, sieve out the residue and keep it inside the fridge where you can use it to braise any other thing any other day. Braise, braise duck, braise chicken, whatever. Okay, bye-bye.